Hey, this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ERBB. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I do not believe I've ever done one uh, on this chart before, so uh, nice to get a new one here and uh, kind of talk about something that hasn't been talked about uh, multiple times before. But anyways, um, had a bunch of questions and some requests on, for this one today. So going into the weekend, thought map out some support resistances, and that way everybody has an idea of what's going on from a technical perspective heading into next week. So uh, the first thing I want to point out is we had a couple what I'm assuming I didn't go back and look so this is an assumption on my part so if it's wrong I apologize but uh, looking at the volume in these I'm assuming these are just fat finger trades or just something goofy going on so I'm not even going to count these into you know resistance or, is there anything like that so we're just going to start off with uh, today the profit takers decided to step in up at 008 so that's the level of resistance and after that as far as I'm concerned assuming that those were just fat finger trades uh, you know after 008 is blue sky breakout territory uh, so that's pretty simple and straightforward uh, that previous high there from today uh, is the current level of resistance and you know like I said after that is blue sky breakout territories which means you'll just have to kind of use your gut instincts at that point now in terms of support levels lots of these since the price has been making these nice upwards moves uh, the first one is going to be at this level here. Uh, this high was at uh, 007. So the James Bond level right here at 007 will be the initial level of resistance. I should note I'm leaving this line skinny because while it is a level of support, yes, if the price were to drop below it, by no means is that the end of the world or anything like that. So uh, if you were to ask me what would be the ideal level of support that I'd like to see hold, uh, James Bond right here at 007 would be the level. But again, if it does fail, you know, by no means does that mean that the whole chart's done and you should go you freak out and jump out a window or anything like that uh, the next level of support I'm gonna kinda split some differences here and just call it down here at 006 I'll explain what I mean by split differences but we'll make this line a little bit thicker because it does carry a little bit more importance but you can see here that acted as resistance you know four days right around this price range here acted as resistance and then you know some more price history here so while it's not an exact specific price you know there's quite a bit of price history right around that level so 006 is going to be the next level of support and then kind of the must hold level if the price were to even come down here it's going to be down here uh, at 005 again kind of splitting the difference but there's actually quite a bit of price history right around that area make that line extra thick uh, you can see here acted as uh, resistance price got above it acted as support acted as resistance a few days in a row resistance you know resistance so you get the point and then right here you can see acted as support a couple of times so 005 will be the ne that next level and then you do have you know your, the, the mac daddy moving averages down here the 50 day and 200 day but obviously nobody wants to see the price drop all the way down there so these are going to be the three levels of support that i would look at uh and you know that's a good sign when all i talk about is one level of resistance and then having all these levels of support so that's always uh something that is uh you know what you want to strive for is having a lot more uh, support levels than you do resistance levels so if there are any other questions on the chart please let me know if not i'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter up there and as you'll see when you do that you'll get a free ebook and if you enjoyed the video and want to learn more about charting and technical analysis i'd encourage you to click on the image below that'll take you to our video course over eight and a half hours of information and educational videos uh, that'll teach you about charting and teach you how to use it to put profits in your pockets don't take our word for it though i'd encourage you to read the third party reviews and testimonials and see what other people who have bought the course uh, have to say about it so uh, keep that in mind and i hope you give it a try one more time, this was ERBB. Thanks for listening and have a good weekend.